In a universe so vast, so ancient, it's hard to wrap your mind around the sheer scale of it all. Imagine a moment when everything, every star, every planet, every wisp of cosmic dust, was compressed into a single, unimaginably dense point. A point so small, so hot, that the laws of physics as we know them simply cease to apply. This is where our story begins 13.8 billion years ago, with an event that set the cosmos in motion. They call it the Big Bang, but what sparked it? What ignited the greatest explosion in history? And why does it still captivate us today? Buckle up, because we're diving deep into the mysteries of the universe, exploring new discoveries that are shaking the foundations of what we thought we knew, and taking you on a journey to the edge of existence itself. Picture this, a time before time, a place before space. All the matter and energy that would eventually form galaxies, stars, and even you was packed into a singularity. An infinitely dense speck where gravity, time, and space were meaningless. Then, in an instant, it erupted. Not an explosion into space, but an expansion of space itself. The universe didn't just grow. It ballooned at a speed that defies comprehension, faster than light itself. This wasn't a slow unfolding but a cosmic sprint, a phase called inflation that stretched the fabric of reality in a fraction of a second. Why did this happen? What triggered this sudden burst? Scientists have wrestled with these questions for decades, and while we've pieced together much of the story, the ultimate cause remains a tantalizing enigma. Let's zoom in on that first moment. The universe was a seething cauldron of energy, hotter than a trillion suns. Particles didn't exist yet. Protons, neutrons, electrons were still dreams in the cosmic soup. As the universe expanded, it cooled, just enough for these building blocks to form. Within minutes, the first atoms of hydrogen and helium took shape in a process called nucleosynthesis. These were the seeds of everything we see today. But here's where it gets wild. The universe didn't just expand and cool like a balloon losing air. It kept growing, driven by forces we're only beginning to understand. One of those forces? Dark energy a mysterious anti-gravitational push that's been accelerating the universe's expansion for billions of years. Even now, it's pulling galaxies apart, stretching the cosmos into an ever-widening void. But let's not get too comfortable with this story, because the universe loves to throw curveballs. For decades, the Big Bang Theory has been the cornerstone of cosmology, backed by evidence like the cosmic microwave background, a faint glow from the universe's infancy, and the redshift of distant galaxies showing they're racing away from us. It's a model that's held up under scrutiny, tested by countless experiments, and refined by generations of scientists. Yet, something extraordinary is happening. New observations are challenging what we thought we knew, forcing us to rethink the early days of the cosmos. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of human ingenuity that's peering deeper into the universe than ever before revealing secrets that are both breathtaking and perplexing. Imagine looking at a photograph of the night sky, but this isn't just any snapshot. The James Webb Space Telescope, floating a million miles from Earth, captures light that's been traveling for billions of years. It's like a time machine showing us galaxies as they were when the universe was just a toddler. In one image, you might see hundreds of galaxies, some spiral, some elliptical, some glowing with the light of newborn stars. The beauty is staggering, but for scientists, these images are more than pretty pictures. They're a puzzle. The telescope has spotted galaxies that don't fit the script. They're too small, too smooth, too old, and there are far too many of them. According to the Big Bang model, the early universe should have been a chaotic mess, with galaxies forming through violent collisions and mergers. But these galaxies, they look polished, organized, like they've been around far longer than they should have. Let's break this down. The Big Bang Theory predicts that galaxies took time to form. After the initial expansion, tiny fluctuations in density, ripples in the cosmic soup, grew into the seeds of galaxies. Over hundreds of millions of years, these seeds should have collided, merged, and grown into the massive structures we see today. But the James Webb Telescope is finding galaxies that look like they skipped the messy teenage phase. Some are compact, disc-shaped, with smooth structures that resemble modern galaxies like our Milky Way. Others are packed with stars that seem far too old for their place in the cosmic timeline. And the numbers? 
astronomers expected a handful of early galaxies. Instead, they're seeing hundreds, maybe thousands, in a single frame. It's as if the universe grew up faster than anyone predicted. Why does this matter? Because these findings poke holes in our understanding of how galaxies form. If these galaxies are older and more numerous than expected, it means star formation kicked off earlier than we thought, maybe just 200 million years after the Big Bang. That's a blink in cosmic terms. And if they're smoother than predicted, it challenges the idea that early galaxies were chaotic, constantly smashed together by gravity. Scientists are now scrambling to explain this. Are our models of star formation wrong? Did dark matter, another mysterious force that shapes galaxies, behave differently in the early universe? Or is something even stranger at play, something that could force us to rethink the Big Bang itself? Now let's address the elephant in the room. Some headlines scream that these discoveries debunk the Big Bang, that the universe as we know it is a lie. But let's be clear, that's not how science works. The Big Bang theory isn't a house of cards ready to collapse. It's a robust framework built on decades of evidence. The cosmic microwave background, the redshift of galaxies, the abundance of light elements like helium, all these pieces fit together like a cosmic jigsaw puzzle. What the James Webb Telescope is doing isn't tearing down that puzzle but adding new pieces that don't quite fit. Yet, scientists are excited, not panicked. These anomalies are a chance to refine our understanding, to ask better questions, to dig deeper into the universe's story. So what could explain these odd galaxies? One possibility is that our models of galaxy formation need a tune-up. Maybe stars formed more efficiently in the early universe, fueled by denser clouds of gas or triggered by bursts of energy from black holes. Another idea is that dark energy or dark matter played a different role than we thought, shaping galaxies faster and more smoothly. Some researchers are even exploring tweaks to the Big Bang model itself, like adjusting the timing or scale of cosmic inflation. Inflation, that rapid expansion in the universe's first moments, smoothed out irregularities and set the stage for galaxy formation. If it happened differently, say, with more variation than we thought, it could explain why we're seeing so many mature galaxies so early. Let's take a step back and marvel at what this means. Every time we point a new telescope at the sky, we're not just seeing stars. We're rewriting history. The Hubble Space Telescope showed us. Galaxies billions of years old. But James Webb is taking us even closer to the beginning. Its infrared eyes can pierce through cosmic dust, revealing galaxies that were hidden from Hubble. These galaxies are like ancient fossils, telling us stories of a universe that was forming stars and structures when it was barely out of diapers. And the surprises keep coming. Some of these galaxies are so bright, so packed with stars, that they challenge our understanding of how quickly matter could clump together in the early universe. But it's not just about the galaxies. The James Webb Telescope is also giving us clues about the universe's expansion. By studying the light from these distant objects, astronomers can measure their redshift, how much their light has stretched as it travels across an expanding universe. This redshift confirms that the universe is still growing, just as the Big Bang model predicts. But the details, the smoothness, the size, the age, suggest we might need to rethink how that expansion shaped the cosmos. Could dark energy have been stronger in the past? Could there be other forces we haven't discovered? These questions aren't answers, but they're the fuel that drives science forward. Now, imagine you're an astronomer staring at these images. You've spent your career building models based on the Big Bang, expecting to see a certain kind of universe. Then, these pictures come in showing galaxies that look nothing like what you